the touchline here on Y254. We are here for the last hour of uh, the touchline, that time for your fan favorite segment, the fan zone, considering it's all about matches coming left, right and center. And the big match uh, from five today will be the El Clasico, Barcelona versus Real Madrid. How will that one pan out? But also tomorrow we've got uh, the big one between Manchester United home to Manchester City. But before that, we've got to talk about one team that is making fans in London dream for what they can achieve at the end of the season. Can Tottenham actually make that dream come true for their fans? It's been long. It's been a minute. Pochettino tried, but woo, he could not go past the, the last line. But today, let's see what Ange Postangulu. Hmm, that name still I've forgotten, but I'll still try to remember. Joining me here for the fan zone for the first time is uh, Mariam Kageni. Mariam, Hi. Karibu at 254. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. Yeah. How are you doing? I am good. Waiting yeah. for a Chelsea game because I'm a Chelsea person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chelsea is your team. Uh, Chelsea is my team. Yeah. Blue all the way. Last time I mm. was a point in Billy Zikaenda. Two naunda kikos in the Kwanza. Two points in the Kwanza. Three points in the bag. Imagine that. Yeah. But we did try. Yeah. You know, a lot of people were looking at, at, uh, at Chelsea as the underdogs. Like, uh, of course, there were a lot of expectations on Arsenal being um, a team that has been in best form for the last season and this season they're also contenders of winning the title so but we showed them we are trying to look uh, we have a record signing so we're trying to balance these players people on injury and all that and just see what can be made out of it <laughs> a big one there. And also, Barry Silla is here with me so far. Barry, game ni very tough the way they come and everything. But if you look at Tottenham from how they have started this season and how they are playing, yep. they are really playing the best football this season with this new coach that they have. Yes, like you said, the former Celtic manager, Ange Post. What's the other name? Yes, yeah. yes. We need to know that pronunciation. Yes, the Romanian guy. Yeah. So Austria. Austria. Australian. Australia. Australia. Yeah. Okay. So look, they apart from Hurricane leaving, mm -hmm. I don't think per se the team has been dismantled. It's not like what maybe Chelsea did, yeah? Yes. So uh, to that regard, uh, uh, Tottenham is um, they have maintained some kind of consistency in terms of player retention. Number two, they've given uh, players some kind of freedom. Now we have uh, the captain, um, Son, yes. playing with a lot of freedom and smile in his face. They acquired a top player in the, in the, in the, in the shape of James Madison from Leicester. Yes. So the team is looking very good, gelled together, and attacking, attacking was very dangerous. And they're also very organized defensively. Yes. Uh, I believe that the only team so far that has not lost a match and uh, they're now on top of the table. Um, so usually for such teams, we, we ask, when will they stumble? Mm -hmm. You understand, like, um, are they just setting the pace for the big boys? Yes. Or is this the time that East London, the small team from East London, Tottenham, will show the other big London spenders that yes. we are the new boys in town? So it, it, they have a very good coach yes. uh, who understands the game and who has come and adapted so fast to the English Premier League. Uh, I expect them to keep pushing, but we we, we start measuring play teams from after December. Uh, second leg, when uh, let's say January, January, second leg comes in, mm -hmm. is the tempo going to be kept? Are they going to meet with guys like City, Arsenal, yes. Manu, and get full points, not just a draw or something? Like so it's still ca open. Ca can they pull a Leicester? The <laughs> 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 yeah. Ooh. Can Tottenham do that? Um, for <coughs> me, when I look at Tottenham, uh, just like you said, right now it's a bit early. But we were having this discussion with my friend, uh, and uh, we were talking about uh, how 
right now Tottenham is not dependent on one player. You know, when a, when a team is dependent on one player, it's become very dangerous. Mm. Uh, because everyone, all the efforts, zilikuwa kwa hurricane. All the efforts were on hurricane. Mm. Uh, and we were also saying, you know, hurricane right now is at Bayern. And when you see his game right now, it's not like all the light is on him. Mm. There are players like Sun, Sunny and, you know, it's a whole team. And that's what Tottenham has managed to make right now. It's not about Son, there is Maggie. So any, mm. the, it's just a teamwork. And mm. when you play as a team, expect magic. So still, I don't think they're contenders for the cup, mm -hmm. but I think they're going to give us a good run. We will enjoy it. Of course, for top six, oh, I feel that they're, they're there. At they're top there. Four. Uh, At the top four. Uh, yeah. They're there. For sure. Well, Tottenham is one team that is actually playing very well mm. so far and they have impressed everyone. And yesterday they won 2-1 against Crystal Palace. 26 points of the 10 matches they have played and leading the table by 5 points. They have already won against Manchester United in one of the big teams and they are still waiting to play other teams. Moving on, El Clasico is another big, big match that uh, we are waiting for. I think the first leg of the El Clasico and the one who usually wins the El Clasico mm -hmm. can go ahead and win the La Liga trophy. El Clasico na Yonaji. Ah, let me be biased and say Hala Madrid. You're on a TV. Okay, uh, that's my team. But, uh -huh. you know, with the El Clasico, there's a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. You'd never know what to expect. Yeah. Uh, from Real Madrid, um, if I look at their games, they have been um, making a lot of, uh, they've been missing a lot of chances. Barcelona is still not the Barcelona that <coughs> we used to know. So mm -hmm. we're still looking at these two teams, but I'm placing my money on Real Madrid. Real yes. Madrid. Well, but uh, you look at uh, Savi, yeah. I think uh, he's the first El Clasico he won. Yeah. I think 4 0 against the Madrid and it was against Carlo Ancelotti played very well he has come in he has won the La Liga can he maintain that momentum with these young kids considering the injuries that he has in his team so far yeah you mentioned two, two key elements there injuries yeah and young kids uh -huh. the opposite is the same is, is the opposite is, hap is happening with Madrid they have senior and uh, experienced players mm -hmm. Of course, mixed with younger players mm. uh, and they're on form as well. Yeah. Um, so, uh, number one, I think Madrid will win this game. Yeah. Number two, it will be an entertaining game. Yes. Uh, but I think you cannot Not compare the El Clasico of today and the ones for four years, five years ago. I think it's like rebuilding a new, um, new, new, new momentum. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, but. One thing is for, 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 for sure is that um, this, this particular game will be interesting. Yeah. Uh, tactics will come into play. There will be a lot of physicality. There will be a lot of running. Uh, but I still see with the, the form of the likes of uh, Bellingham, um, you know, he makes yes. things happen there. Mm -hmm. um, that will be advantage to Madrid. With the likes of Lewandowski missing, Mm. That will be a disadvantage mm. to, to Barcelona. Barcelona. So, but it, it, it will be a thriller yeah. nonetheless. For you, Unana game it will know considering that you, you have a, a Real Madrid team that mm -hmm. wants to come back to the top with mm -hmm. the signing they made with like Jude Bellingham coming in. Kwanza, this is first El Clasico. Yes, mm -hmm. actually, yeah. top player since he signed for Real Madrid. Can uh, Barcelona humble him down or is ready for such a big stage? No, right, right now, like you said, you see the, the last El Clasico, of course, it was in favor of Barcelona. Mm. So this time they're trying to show the fans that we have this in place. Mm. We are going to challenge them and uh, uh, taking advantage. Uh, having a player like Jude Bellingham, big stages as a performer, it's going to be an advantage. He's going to use it, uh, uh, Ancelotti is going to use it to his uh, advantage. So I, 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 I can see goodness in uh, the Real Madrid side. It's going to be good and it's, Jude will perform mm -hmm. as usual. Well, it's a big one there. And uh, other players that will come in for Real Madrid, I just saw them enjoying their B new BMW cars, but eh, what one enjoy you in Japan? <laughs> Watu mm. wanapewa wa ya ani magari hivi. Mm. Zizi na drive hivi unambiwa ini yako chukua. 
Yeah. Brand. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's really like new model BMWs. I think they are called X thirteen Ds, something like that. And they are going for they are the first people to mm. get those machines. Mm. And then they go and play against the Barcelona. Mm. That's a big motivation boost. Mm. Yeah, very big motivation for for s these are you know football players of today. They're not just footballers. They are. Like ambassadors, they are brand magnets. Yes. Yeah. So right from the boot, mm -hmm. some people have boot agreements. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. you see they have car car deals. Yeah. So uh, there's a lot of investment beyond the player. Yes. Uh, there's also TV on uh, spotlight on them, uh, and for such a big game, you, people put in money. Yeah. So uh, expect a good a good game. Yes. Uh, this evening, that's for sure. Well, I don't know how the, to say it, but the question I'll put for you is, where will it be won between these uh, two sides? I think for me, the, the battle will be won in the midfield. Mm. Yes? Yes. If we have uh, Chomeni and Kamavinga play in that hole, yes. uh, and uh, allowing uh, Bellingham to rot, you just move freely in the middle. Yes. And the number 10, 8, switch rolls left, right. Yeah. Um, I think it will be too much work for... Barcelona. For, 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 yeah, Barcelona. Because the attacking prowess also of, of Madrid yeah. is very, very good. Yeah. Look at Vinicius is now back. So we, we, we want to, we will, we will, I don't know if I'll say Barcelona will struggle, uh, but Barcelona has to be alert. Let me use that term. Barcelona has to be very alert. When with Jude, the ball on Jude's feet, he can do anything with the ball. Yeah. So for me, the key man in the game for, for Madrid will be Jude. Jude the key man on the other side yes. for me will be the, sen the defenders. Wow. Well, you are not giving Gundogan a chance to shine in such a game. For you, um, where do you think the game will be won? Like I said, um, first of all, spotlight on Jude. Yes. Um, in most g uh, games like this, the, att the attack is going to be fierce, especially in the Real Madrid side. Yeah. There is going to be fierce attack. Just like him, a lot of work on the uh, defending side mm. of um, Barcelona. Barcelona. Yeah. If we have such an attack, mm -hmm. Kazi Kubo kwa defenders. So yes. definitely on rotation, hapo katikati mm -hmm. to the attacking area for Real Madrid, that's mm -hmm. the, vict uh, the victory point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is the touchline here on Y254. Marion Kageni, Barry Silla, I'm Robert Osoro. We are having fun here talking about some of the matches that are coming on this weekend. We'll be waiting to talk about the fixtures for this weekend. But before we talk about the fixtures of the games that are playing today, let's talk about one key game that will be played tomorrow. It is the Manchester Derby. Uh, a game between Mashetani Wekundu. <laughs> Yeah, that game is key for both sides. Tough start for Manchester United. Yeah. Not anyone expected it to be this way, but they started the way they have started and now they are playing the Premier League winners who have actually been getting points at Old Trafford. Do you see Manchester United withstanding our city this time around in the derby? Uh, I see it's going to be difficult because uh, there are two key men missing in that hole of the defence. Varane and... Um, what's his name? Lissandro uh, Martinez. Lissandro Martinez, yeah. So now the makeshift. Now we, we have... Uh, we have Maguire, uh, Maguire back. back. Yeah, the old captain uh, is back. I saw Verano playing the, ch oh, the Champions League. Okay, okay. Yeah, and uh, also Lindelof. Okay, Lindelof. Lindelof. Yeah. With with injuries to key players, and then yeah. now you have to have makeshift uh, uh, adjustments ahead, just a few days ahead of a key game. Yes. It's not ideal for any coach. Mm -hmm. So that should be the headache number one for Eric Ten Hag. And number yes. two, mm -hmm. oh, he's hoping and praying that uh, Andre Onana will stay. On point. Yes. He has to be on point. Mm. 
yeah, and uh, always talk and guide his defenders, especially when they don't have the ball. Uh, uh, but also they have to, Manchester has to hope uh, the likes of uh, Hodgeberg and Rashford have to be awake. Yes. And Bruno has to make things happen in the middle. Mm -hmm. On the other side, I mean, it's free-flowing. You don't, you, don't you don't have Kevin De Bruyne, mm -hmm. uh, you don't have uh, Grealish, mm -hmm. but this guy, this uh, Pep Guardiola has always a plan B. For yes. all of this, uh, for me, I think uh, I'd say seventy percent and give a City win. Yeah. Um, but even Manchester, you know, during such games, sometimes they really wake up. Mm -hmm. If they really wake up and push, mm -hmm. it could be a draw. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know if they can win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what, what do you make of it? <laughs> One thing about Manchester United games, uh, mm -hmm. uh, when they are home, they are really tough. Yes. When they are home, they bring their A game on. So let's not overlook that, regardless of who is not there. Mm -hmm. So um, I'd give them, I, I'd still give C City 60 and uh, uh, mm -hmm. United 40. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a good game. Like mm -hmm. you said, uh, the likes of KDB are not p present, mm -hmm. but there is uh, players like Jeremy Doku who has been yeah, really excellent. brilliant. Yeah. So uh, with Pep Guardiola, he has options. Yeah. He, 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 this guy has everything. It's mm -hmm. like perfect team. You miss this player, if Grealish is not there, they is, they're always back up. So mm. he has a perfect team and uh, for, uh, for there's a lot of pressure in United's uh, side, yes. but um, um, when you look at Onana, we can't still rely on him fully. Uh, remember this is the first time he's starting to gain a little bit of confidence mm. um, in yeah, uh, being he, a he shortstopper. He saved a penalty on yeah. Uh, Wednesday. Yeah, he did great. He did yeah. great. But still, mm -hmm. there's not so much confidence in him uh, yes. for United fans. We can't fully rely on him. Mm -hmm. But with that, um, with that uh, UEFA brilliance, mm -hmm. he could be now having some bit of confidence in himself that, oh, I, I, I finally... I can do it in big yeah. stages. Harry Maguire also was brilliant, so let's uh -huh. not overlook that. Maguire yeah. is going to uh, try and bring, the, uh, make the defense a bit tough. So mm -hmm. United are going to be something when they are home. We are playing. At, uh, they are playing at Old Trafford, so it's going to be a good game. Yeah, and, draw. Well, yeah, and also maybe sorry, just to add a bit. Mm -hmm. the, in this match again, the battle will probably be won in the midfield. Yes. Mm. So yeah. how they set up Manchester United, the midfield. Uh, that midfield has to be set up compact. They, they, are, they are chasing a fitness for Casemiro to mm. be back into the midfield. I mean, mm. that is already a headache in itself. So yes. um, how will make makeshift changes here and there? It's not ideal ahead of a game like this. Uh, is it a, a situation where Ten Hag should be confident to go with the two holding because yeah. he brought in Amrabat. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Amrabat to play in that uh, midfield. Casemiro also to play in that midfield and give Bruno a chance to play that eight position or yeah, ten. Yeah, Amrabat and McTominay maybe. Yeah, and then Robert, uh, McTominay, yes. Uh, Bruno in the middle. Yes. Yeah. And then Hodgeberg and then yeah. Rashford and Anthony. And Anthony sometimes is up and down. Yeah. So he just hopes these people make do their job. Mm. Do, do you also have a problem? Because me for me, the problem I usually have with uh, Ten Hag usually overthinks the yeah, game. Sometimes, the, yeah. the, the problem also with the good deal and everything mm. in that you can have a good team and you can say, hey, we can predict this lineup. Then you end up seeing I'm Robert playing three. <laughs> 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 you, you see, yeah. yeah, you find Rashford playing seven uh, on the right instead of left. His yeah. left. Yeah. Uh, so also as a coach, is a, someone who can come in and the way he sets up his team Mm. The coach himself sets his team to fail instead of winning. Yeah, I mean, that's very, very true. So, yeah. if first of all, you have to study the opponent's strengths mm -hmm. and then your own weakness, yes. then try to balance. Mm -hmm. uh, but as much as possible, especially if you're home, attack more, mm -hmm. uh, but also try to have a lot of the ball. Yes. So that you keep the other side on, uh, under pressure. Mm -hmm. Because a team like City with the ball on their feet, yeah. I mean, they're dangerous. But also, they know how to. Uh, cut you out when they don't have the ball. Yeah. Yeah. So when you have guys like Rodri, uh, I mean, you know, you'll 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 have a lot of hard time. Well, it's a big one uh, for Rodri and everything. It's also the week. Is it this weekend or next? This uh, week where we have the Ballon d'Or. 
Ah, yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. The awards are also yeah, coming yeah. on and everything. Yeah, yeah. And big names there. Six, Man City has six players <laughs> for the Balloon Dio. We have got Kevin De Bruyne, Gundogan, Rodri, Ederson, the goalkeeper, Haaland. Do you think uh, Man City can win or Messi will go with it because of the World Cup? Oh, <laughs> this is, uh, Messi has it. This one is so big. Like, <laughs> you can't overlook the might of World Cup as much as uh, there's a treble and all that. Yes. The glory of the World Cup, you can't uh, overlook it. So it's looking pretty good for Leonardo. Mm -hmm. Imagine he's still doing it mm -hmm. at his age, winning such and competing with the young guys. So it's mm -hmm. looking good for Messi. It's going to, it's going to be. There's always been talks of Messi, Haaland. It's going to mm -hmm. be, but I'll place my bet on Messi. Mm -hmm. Atlanta, that's a bigger card. For, for me, I have a problem mm -hmm. with the Balloon Dio mm -hmm. because the when they when they talk of Haaland, mm -hmm. they only talk of goals. Yeah. The oh way yeah. they did for a long time between Cristiano and Messi. Messi. Mabao, Mabao, mm -hmm. Mabao. Mm -hmm. Not giving other players a chance and players who have been key for yeah. Manchester. Oh yeah. Like you look at Manchester City, one player who played most games for City in Europe, not in the Premier League, was Rodri. Mm -hmm. Scored a key goal in the final. Mm -hmm. he, was a, he was the key pillar of of Man City, even up to the moment. Without Rodri, mm. that team cannot perform very well. Yeah. Why not give him that uh, Ballon d'Or? Um, I think it's a... F <laughs> I think Ballon d'Or is a political yeah. tool also. <laughs> and uh, maybe one of the guiding <laughs> factors of of, of, of of winning is maybe your contribution to goals mm. and yes. the goals. Uh -huh. For example, it's hard for a defender to win the ballot. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And it has so always been like Or a good <laughs> keeper to win. Yeah, a good goalkeeper yeah, to win yeah, that. Yeah. So they'll give the attacking side. Oh, okay, Haaland has scored a lot of goals. But Haaland, a couple of finals, has been dead, like non-existent. Yes. Like if you get a hold of Haaland very well, when you defend against yeah, him very yeah, well, yeah. there's But Messi that. always wakes up in finals. Yes. You see what he did in against France. Mm -hmm. So... I think it's Messi and maybe it's his final. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I don't think can choose to retire or something. Well, it's <laughs> a big one. For coaches, uh, will oh. you give it to Guardiola? Oh, they are coach, oh, coach of the year as well. Yeah, coach of the year. It has to be... Yeah. No, maybe the Scaloni, the coach Scaloni of, Argentina, of Argentina. Yeah. Argentina. Because of the World Cup. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this World Cup is favoring. Yeah. <laughs> it's really favoring a lot of people. Or we should have different awards for the World Cup. Yeah, because it sounds... Uh, no, but that is the be FIFA World Player of the Year that usually oh, comes. So the FIFA Awards. Awards. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, those ones are already done. So we've got the Balloon Dio. See, mm. and uh, they usually come up, and these are when we give the, the managers usually. The coaches are the ones who vote, yeah? Uh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, the coach, the captains, mm. and uh, the fans. I think mm -hmm. the fans are there. But our votes are not that. Uh, I think it's the captains and the, the coaches. Uh, coaches is the one that yeah. matters the most. Mm. So, some of the matches coming today. Abdul, let's see those uh, fixtures and look at uh, some of the matches that are being played today and see how they are going to be. We talked about Chelsea <laughs> are the early kickoff against the Brentford. Arsenal there against the Sheffield. Bournemouth will be home to Burnley and then Wolves will be home to Newcastle. Watch at once and a team yako fourth. Mapema, mapema. Mapema best. They have already started. Watch out already. Lunch time kickoff. By the way, Wamenda say four matches unbeaten. Yeah, and if he does it against the Bees today, we'll have so much confidence. You know, Pochettino is a brilliant coach. He knows what he's doing. So if he does it today against Brentford, it's going to be like a seal and fans are going to regain their confidence because if they're... If they're Fans who are frustrated right now is Chelsea fans for mm. their past two seasons. Mm -hmm. So right now, if this is going to go well and work out for him and uh, uh, br um, they manage to tackle, deal with uh, Brentford, mm -hmm. uh, they have they have been uh, suffering with a number of injuries. But then again, this, this is a team that has been buying players in bulk. So yeah. let's see what Pesa happens. Pesa mkona. Pesa nae sana. But swali ni, inatufaid. Inarudisha. So, unfortunately, it has yeah. not been to our favor, but a brilliant coach will know how to work with this. Uh, when I look at Chelsea, it reminds me of Bel um, not Belgium. Oh. Yeah. 
a golden generation, a golden age, you know, young players and uh, trying to figure out how we're going to play with young players. If he can be able to bring uh, the best out of these players, because right now I think that Mudrik is starting to get his confidence yeah. and uh, a lot of players are starting to shine a little bit as compared to how we saw last season when uh, Lampard was there. Mm -hmm. And um, right now things are looking really good. So if we held Arsenal mm. and played 65 minutes of brilliance, mm -hmm. Br uh, Brentford leo kiteleweka. Leo atajua. What do you make of this Chelsea? Pia walianza, mm. shaky Shelly, start yeah. that uh, they had, but uh, so far, four matches, I think they had won three before the international break, this draw against the... As the only problem I had is when they are playing from the back, mm. the, the mistake the goalkeeper yeah, did, yeah, yeah. Ed Rice scored that goal, but with these young players, as she has put it, mm. they can be now that trademark style of Pochettino and they can do something this uh, season. Yeah, I think when a new coach comes, the team, the, the players take time to adapt to his style and system. Yeah. But now you can see maybe his philosophy starting to take root. And also, some of the injured players are coming back. The key, key. Yeah. yeah key but players. also, for we, at the back of Nani's, uh, of the coach's mind, he doesn't want to risk some mm. players all out. Like, mm. for example, Riz came... Yes. The other game, Champions League, but uh, sorry, uh -huh. against Arsenal, but for a few minutes. Yeah. Uh, and this is the captain. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of balancing for the coach. He has the squad. Yeah. But some players are still new. They're yes. getting time to gel. Like somebody like Nkunku has not even played a single match. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Now he's back to training, but he's training on his own. Yeah. So but, uh, maybe he's thinking of next season. If I can start a season with a bang, like fresh, all the 25 players, yes. healthy. For now, maybe he's, I don't know, his aim maybe is top six, because yes. if they finish, I think, 11, if he can say top six, that will be credit to maybe uh, progress Yes. with a new team, basically a whole new team. Yeah. So if he can finish the season without any further injuries, that's a plus. Yeah. And then now tackle next season with fresh, uh, with, 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 with a fresh purpose, with, yes. with, with fresh legs. The players uh, and injured. also you're lucky not to be playing in... Euro, Euro. European football, so it, <laughs> it reduces your workload yes. and also reduces people with uh, getting injuries, incurring injuries. Yeah. So you can even have the luxury of changing uh, players, mm. yeah. like this rotate, start, yeah. uh, sit on the bench, start. and So he has the squad um, and now the players maybe are beginning to adapt to understand his style. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Umesema leo kitaeleweka. <laughs> leo kitaeleweka. <laughs> Let's see. Kuna, kuna hiji na ingine wanasema iti kita warambo. Because Brentford is not a risk. Is one team that can shock <laughs> you. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah, yeah, that's why they call the bees. The bees. The bees. Na wanasema ugopa alikiko. Alikikov is not an easy game to. You can either start with a bang, yeah. oh, or it can <laughs> tables can Ooh. turn on you. Who is at home? It's Chelsea. Yeah. Uh, let, let's look at the other games. We can also mm. Arsenal is also playing today, and also Ooh, yeah. for them they can also win, mm. and we can see how they are playing there. Uh, uh, we've got uh, West Ham no, Everton. That's not. tomorrow. That's a big game between those yeah, two. Yeah. West Ham lost to. Man City last time, Brighton against Fulham, then we have Aston Villa versus Luton Town. I Aston Villa appear on a chairs are very mm -hmm. well. They actually won yeah. against West Ham. 4-1 mm. yeah. against uh, West Ham. So they are playing Luton Town and then Liverpool versus Nottingham Forest will also be tomorrow. And then the big one to finish off the day will be Manchester United versus Manchester City. Uh, for you, which game can you pick here that can be a big one for you to watch? Yeah. West Ham Everton? No, West Ham no, no, will no, no. beat Everton. Yeah. All of them, they lost last weekend. Oh, Everton <laughs> lost Maybe to City Liverpool. United is the good game. Is the big of game. Of course, this one. But yeah. Yeah. Arsenal is playing. Arsenal, let's see what Arsenal is playing there. Arsenal Abdul. playing Sheffield, let's watch. if I'm not wrong, yeah. Arsenal, Sheffield. Yeah. Sheffield United. Ah, that's a Sheffield is yes. ah, no. Arsenal and Sheffield. Wolves, troublesome Wolves and Newcastle is a good game. Wolves and Newcastle Ooh, at 7.30. Yeah, yeah, it's a this good one game. Is nice. yeah. hey, Newcastle here have been playing very well. Yeah. And yeah. can they win? Yeah, they are away to Wolves. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Wolves don't like that. <laughs> Bournemouth, Burnley, they yeah. can win. Let's talk about Arsenal Sheffield at 5 because Arsenal is also a oh, big, today. big game. Mm -hmm. And 
That's bad, no. Okay. They have proved not to be an easy team to <laughs> beat this time round. You go to play against Arsenal, mm. Chunga San. Yes. Kupiga. Yeah, yeah. And this confidence started from last season, I think. Yes. You remember they just missed it, uh, Kidogo at the end uh, last season. Uh, but yeah, they, the team is has new new guys coming in. Maybe a few still struggling to gel like Havertz. Yes. But some like Rice already settled. Uh, and then in between there was a, f a bit of challenge. Jesus got injured the other day. Yes. Saka against Chelsea, he didn't come really fully fit. Yes. Yes. Some of these guys are f from injury, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, Thomas Party is back to injury. Yeah. So if the coach, uh, what, um, Ateta. Ateta can get players uh, healthy and fit yeah. and balance between the three competitions, I think it's three easy. Yes. Uh, then he can still push Man City uh, and Spurs. Uh, briefly, mm -hmm. and finally, Arsenal is one team that is actually finishing games on a high tempo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they did against City, mm -hmm. they have done against Chelsea, mm -hmm. and now you can see their, their tempo, even against United, their mm -hmm. tempo mm -hmm. their, when they are finishing games, mm -hmm. when they bring in players like Trossard, mm -hmm. yeah, they yeah. change the game completely, mm -hmm. and they really push it. To go, they like in Ketia as mm. they when they come in as a sub, they push the tempo higher. Mm. Can they push against Sheffield? Can they get three points this evening? Sheffield is usually, you know, Sheffield is below the table. But one thing I like about Sheffield is when it plays against big teams, it knows how to punish them. It just, mm. it just bring that brilliance. But then again, um, Arsenal are in their top form. Everyone knows that. They want to win as many games as they can because this is their chance. It's now or never. Yes. Uh, you, uh, you backslide Kadogo too and the, mm. the title race you out because mm. uh, teams like City, teams like Tottenham, don't wanna, uh, Liverpool is also coming up real nicely. Yes. So these are teams that you blunder Kidogo to just a small bit and mm. uh, the race is over. You it's done. remember what last season it was, a very mm. small, minimal gap and unatolewa kwa mdomo. So this one they're going to take it seriously. Remember Kwanzaa drawing against us and, uh, Chelsea when they were on their best form. It was quite frustrating for them. They were like, oh, they now hold up a little bit. Um, what is happening? And uh, we are carved right now. And uh, I remember that game, um, Pochentino, what he did was he was able to carve the middle field. Kina Odegada. Hawazungushi mpirazin. Sheko wana blockiwa. So he's going to make good use of his um his middle field to, uh, to, uh, today yeah. and make sure that the ball is going to be uh, supplied as much as possible and make the attack very strong and beat Sheffield. So, yeah, Arsenal is going to come up strongly. But it's, going to, um, it's not going to be an easy game, I can say, but uh, Arsenal are going to win this one. They are, they are brilliant. Thanks a lot, uh, <laughs> Marion Kageni, coming on to the touchline for the very first time. Where will you be this afternoon? One game that you have to watch. Yeah, but the, the, <laughs> la, uh, El Clasico. El Clasico. El Clasico. Yes. And then later on, that I think that was the rugby. Game. World World game and then, and then the rugby. Well, Ooh. yeah, rugby <laughs> final. Uh, the, some of the events in yeah. sports that will be following up. The Central European Rally is live here and you can still watch it and also it will be going on until tomorrow. El Clasico will be coming away from five, but. Don't forget the Rugby World Cup Final. Will it be a repeat of the 1995 World Cup Final or will it be New Zealand taking their fourth World Cup title? I'm Robert Osoro. For everyone who has managed to make this production a success, we say good afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your broadcast here on Y254.